In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to make a pyramid kaleidoscope box. Click on the import picture icon, and then I'm going to select the sunflower right here. I'm going to hit open, and that brings it into Dazzling Reflections. The template we'll be using is KS52. I'll click on it once to select, then I'll double click on the photograph, and you can see that my kaleidoscope has been made. I'll click on the active segment. And I'm going to increase the photo slightly and I'm also going to rotate the image. And then I can click and hold and move the, fl the flower inside the template. Once I have a design that I like, I'm going to go ahead and print it. So I'll click on the printing screen icon. and it defaults to 8 inches. You can certainly make it smaller, but for this particular project I will print it 8 inches. And this is how it will look on a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper. Begin by trimming away all the excess paper from the printed image and do this as close to the points as possible. Then take a hole punch and using the kaleidoscope pattern as a guide, punch a hole in each point at the exact same spot. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and make the tabs. And you could certainly measure these out, but I just cut it roughly with scissors. So just leave approximately half an inch from each point until you get to the, the V shape in the center. And do this on every side. I'll clear my workspace here. Now we're going to make a V, sh or a v notch into that uh, V shape there. So just cut away a triangle and you can see now that I've done that first one that the, the shape of the tab has been formed. So do this to the, the center of each of the, uh, the tabs. Now I'm going to make the score marks for the tabs. So I'm using a score pal for this particular project, but whatever tool that you like for scoring, go ahead and use that. So I've gone ahead and made all the score marks for the tabs. Now I'm going to make a score mark in between each section. And when you've made all these score marks, it will look like a square in the center of the pyramid. Take your time through this step because the more accurate you are here, the better your box is going to fold together and especially the points will come together very well. Okay, now that all my score marks have been made, I'm just reinforcing them with the tool to get a nice crisp edge. And I start by doing the center square first, and then I'll just work my way around the tabs and fold those in and give them a nice crisp line. Okay, my last tab has been done and I'm just going to check the alignment here. I'll pull up each of the sections and align the points at the top 
and you can see this forms the pyramid box. Now I'm going to take a strand of yarn and just thread it through the holes that we punched at the beginning. And you could add multiple lengths of coordinating yarn through this or just a simple ribbon. I've also stamped a thank you tag and added that to the strand. And you can print these boxes in any size you like. You could print a smaller box and, and then maybe put a Hershey's Kiss in there. That would be a, a nice little thank you. Or for this box, sunflower seeds would be a perfect filling for it. Just put them in a plastic bag and then insert them to the pyramid. And I'm just going to pull all the points together at the top, gather up my yarn, and I'll tie off a bow here and the pyramid box is finished.